So then we can go back and play all that, right? 8G, 7-5G. So now we have this. You just build it, even if it's one note at a time. You know, get you used to it and get you used to the motions and the feel, so. 7D, that's just adding one note, right? Seventh fret G and B, third finger barred. Now play it up to there. Shift that third finger back to 7D. First finger bar, fifth fret G and B, hammer onto the sixth fret. You should hear two notes. Make sure that middle doesn't mute out the B string. So you, in, in reality, you're going. It's that old 50s thing. 7, 5, D, finish out alternate picking. On the A, 7, 6, 5, open. Or, 7, 6, 5, open, 3, A, hammer 4, pull 3, hammer 4, pull 3. So here's, here it is, kind of moderate tempo. Monster riff, I love it. Page 4, 231 timestamp. Every riff in this solo is just really cool. Hammer four, pull three. Alternate pick five three five on the E. That's a subgroup now. Three five A slide to seven. That's up down slide. Let's add that to it. On the D, go five six seven alternate pick to five G. Let's try all that. And then 7G down, 5B down, 5E up six times. So you have. And on the 5B. And that's it. You'll go back to section four seven times. That was the, uh, I think that was the distortion part, the chorus. It was, it was the... End with an E5, open E2A. So. Great song, you're gonna have fun. Rhythmically, there's a lot of cool stuff, Andy. And the solo is just fabulous, just great. I thought it was really clever of them to to um, not use a guitar. Use a mandolin on there. So I'll edit this, get this uploaded, get the tab sent to you, get this video going and uh, up on the channel. So appreciate it, Andy. Hope that guitar is uh, doing good for you. Let me know how you like it. See ya.